So November 15th, 2019 marks the 8th year anniversary of Childish Gambino's first commercially released project, Camp. And in this video, I just want to talk about what the album means to me and what what significance it has in my life. So to start off, I absolutely love this album and it will always have a special place in my heart. I'd say that among his three works that this came around the best time of my life. Um, it was 2016. Now keep in mind, 2016 is also the same year I got well, well acquainted with Donald's work. Um, years prior, before 2015, uh, 2016, um, I like heard most of his many like mainstream works, like 3005, uh, Heartbeat. But I, I guess I just wasn't that invested into him as an artist. So, uh, you know, albeit five years a little bit too late when listening to Camp, I'd say it came around the best time. It was like during my high school years. And I was, you know, I think most people in their high school days were going through a very awkward time in their life. An album like Camp, among his three, you know, commercially released projects, uh, he, I, the camp is like the most raw one. Like it's very vulnerable and he's very unapologetic uh, throughout the entire, like, you know, record. You know, Pitchfork didn't, you know, didn't agree with that at the time. They gave him such a low rating, uh, a low rating, and you know, they they have some points. It does make sense. The cheesiness, the repetitive nature, and just the preachy themes. It makes sense. I could see definitely why you know they or any other uh, any other opposed um, person would feel that way. But I could relate to a lot of the things and I resonated with it. So at the time, it really did not matter. You know, at least I had something or someone there that could you know relate to me on such a deep level. So you know, of the three, anyways, the three songs that I say were my favorite to listen to. Like, my go-to three songs would have to be That Power, uh, Firefly, no, not Firefly, um, All the Shine, and Kids. Those are, like, my top three favorite songs from that project. Uh, I guess among the, you know, multiple songs, those three were my absolute favorite. Because I guess at the time I was going through something uh, emotionally. And, you know, those songs really helped in my time of need and desperation. So... And not even that, like that power. Um, I remember the first time I listened to the song and it got like to the ending, like with the interlude or whatnot. Um, it was, I was very taken back by it. I was very intrigued. Like, and also it was like, like the year that I also got into music even deeply. Like I, I never know. I never knew artists did any of that. I never really like, just spoke on a song before. Like I was like 16. So like <laughs> I was 16 and barely... You know, I was new to the music world and, you know, something like this was very powerful. Like, I love the message. And to me, um, camp is a very coming of age story, especially if you consider um, because the Internet and how that power pretty much transitions to because the Internet. That's why I think it's a very uh, coming of age, you know, storyline, um, even though it stopped at Awaken My Love, you know, with the boy and whatnot. Uh, it's. You know, it was very great. I really loved the project. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say in regards to the album. It means a lot to me. I love the project. Favorite songs. Uh, you know, it's very raw. Very raw. I'm very appreciative of Donald's work. It only gets better from here. It really does. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one.